So I'm going to do my first opening the box video, and this one is for the CSG M106 LTE Gateway Router. Comes in a good looking box. CSG's got their logo on it. What's in the box? No jokes. Tell us a little bit about what it does. Good indication of what it's for, what's in it, different panels of the device, and slides open. Box has all the particulars on activating the device as far as the IMEI, Mac ID. And let's see what we got. So User guide, pretty simple, got some pictures. If I need support, got a QR code there, which I'm sure has a link to something where I can see the instructions a whole lot better than this tiny little mouse print. So we'll dig right in. This is a brand new device, came out in summer of 2022. So they got it packaged in with a wall mount. Separate that for screw holes. We'll hold it nicely on a wall. Nice little weight to it. All right, so again, another QR code there. Other particulars again on the device, but they're on the box too to make them a little bit easier to read. Little rubber feet here, if you wanna sit it on a surface, it won't slide around, that's good. All right, SMA antenna connectors, which is pretty much what you would expect on any LTE device. On off switch, reset, and a USB connection. USB-C for power, and then Ethernet WAN and LAN connections. It feels like good quality, nothing crinkly about it, doesn't feel hollow. It's got a pair of external paddle antennas. These are made by Panorama, according to the box. Panorama's, usually the manufacturers of these things don't state who their antennas are from, so these must be a little bit better than the norm. Otherwise, the company wouldn't pay for a name, right? Looks like we've got an extension of flat Ethernet cable. Four screws to mount the wall mount. A universal international adapter for the USB-C and a US fitting for that adapter. Locks in securely. There we go. All right, so I've got a power button, but I want to look on this panel here. There's a slide. And we have a compact card slot. If you have some sort of application that's going to need a memory card. And then the SIM slot. And the SIM slot has a... Verizon 4G SIM card. I'm going to slide one right back in because I have one that's already active. A lot of times it helps, it's helpful to have a second card to just make that engage. Unless you have really good fingernails. Oh, and there it is. Put the cover back in. I'm going to go ahead and power that up. Lights are coming on. While that's powering up, I'm going to go ahead and 
install the antennas. The lights went off on me, so I'm going to think that this thing doesn't have enough battery life in it to power up. So I'm going to need to give it some power via an extension cord. All right, and we're going to get that adapter plugged in. And we're going to let that go. So the typical LTE gateway will take two or three, four minutes to connect up with the, with the towers. So we'll let that do its thing for a minute or two and come back to it. All right, so it has appeared to have gotten connected to Verizon, and I've also connected that to a phone. And let's see what kind of speeds we're going to get off of that. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So speeds are always gonna vary based on where I am in relation to the tower and how busy that tower is and all kinds of good stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, the device was very simple to set up. Feels like a good piece of equipment. I'll be able to easily connect ethernet to that. And uh, it can also be used as a failover device so I can plug into the uh, LAN port, have that go out and take over uh, if my local internet fails. So. Looks like a good product. We'll do some field testing with it and hopefully it'll perform just as well. Thanks for watching.